dying with all the stress, but that's kind of the life of a double degree student. Good morning guys and welcome to vlog number 35. I kind of feel like we hit a milestone today. Yesterday I was looking through old pictures of me and I saw that I was always wearing eyeliner and I kind of missed it. So I did some winged liner today. I like it. It's, it's a little bit more dramatic than my usual look. But yeah, I still enjoy it. So the last week has been ridiculously busy because I'm not really used to studying for exams anymore. Most of my um, like marks and grades were all for essays. I had to write like a lot of essays for philosophy, but especially for law for my master. I've been kind of out of studying for an exam and I have an exam this Tuesday. It's my last exam for philosophy. It's ethics three. Uh, ethics 3 free will and responsibility it's called then i also of course have to put out videos and blog posts i wrote like a very personal blog post got an amazing response from you guys thank you so much it really means a lot to me because it was very scary for me to share that blog post and i'm so glad that so many could relate and appreciated me like being honest i guess not that I'm not honest in videos, but you know, I don't really show you like that much of what I honestly feel and think, I guess. So yeah, I've been uh, kind of um, dying with all the stress, but that's kind of the life of a double degree student and an entrepreneur and somebody that's going to move to DC to study there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm quickly going to run a couple of errands. I need to grab something from the postal office, which is super exciting. And I'm going to do an unboxing video about it because I may order something from Alexander Wang again. I know I just got a new pair of shoes, but um, it's like designer sale season. So I can't really... Um, like stop myself from buying stuff when it's like 60% off. Okay, I'm going to run my errands now. quite a bit actually which I'm very happy about first of all I wrote half of a motivational letter for the other scholarship I'm applying to um, so yeah still need to write half of it but I'm already finished with one part which is nice and I have to hand it in before 12 o'clock at night tonight but I think I'll definitely manage that then I also did a little bit of working on a blog post completely forgot about that and then I also um, finished with reading one article and uh, now I'm revising that article and then I also need to um, read another article and then I'm finally done with revising and reading everything for week one and two and today I want to finish at least half of week three as well so yeah that's quite a lot but I'm happy that I am very productive today um, despite the fact that I'm feeling a little bit tired. So now I'm going to make myself some lunch because I'm hungry. Uh -huh. oh, baby. So I thought it would be nice to quickly show you my outfit. Um, it's actually so hot outside the last couple of days. So that's why I'm wearing this super cropped crop top. It's from Zafu and it's going to be part of a Zafu haul that I'll be doing I think next week or the week after that. So stay tuned for that. Then I'm wearing it with uh, my Pull & Bear jeans, love these jeans, uh, and my Gucci belt and my um, Alexander Wang Nadja sandals. I may be going to change this outfit a little bit. Um, that's because I'm also going to shoot. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. I also have a shoot planned at 5 o'clock, so... I'm bound to you. Oh 
also I quickly wanted to show you my two new perfumes so I kindly received two perfumes from Victor and Rolf this is Victor and Rolf flower bomb and I'm completely obsessed with it my mom used to have this fragrance so it kind of reminds me of her but I love it so much it's so nice and this one I haven't tried this one as well and I liked it but I haven't tried it out on my skin yet but this is the uh, bon bon uh, Victor and Rolf perfume and I think they look so cute together and um, yeah they're definitely also super photogenic so I can't wait to take pictures with them so I'm actually taking a little study break right now and I thought it would be perfect timing to do a little bit of chit chat with you guys so I actually wanted to talk about studying and going to university because I know a lot of you that watch my videos are actually already students but I also know that I have quite some people that are thinking about going to university are still in high school or are thinking of going to a different university and for this part of the video I actually teamed up with the University of New South Wales in Australia which is one of Australia's leading universities in law they asked me if I could talk a little bit about their university and about the importance of studying and they asked me if I wanted to give you some information about their university and about studying law and one of the questions that I get asked so often is is studying at university or is studying law, is it worth it? And I definitely think yes, it is so worth it because I've learned so much these last couple of years that I'm studying at university. For me, it's definitely a great experience. Of course, it's sometimes hard, you know, it's not easy studying, but, but I'm so happy that I made a decision to go to university. One thing that I do have to say is that it's very important to make sure that the university you're studying at is actually well ranked. Um, the University of New South Wales in Australia is actually ranked on the 13th spot in the whole wide world and they are also specialized in legal education and in research which is in my opinion very important because I'm very interested in the research part. And what I like most about this university is that it's very focused on innovation, learning and entrepreneurship. And I think it's so important that the university not only stimulates you to learn more, but is also thinking about innovating. And another thing which is very close to my heart is the fact that they really stimulate entrepreneurship. Because, okay, I get so many comments from you guys like, how do I earn my money? And you don't really realize that YouTube for me is a business that this is my business and this is my work and I love it because it actually started as a hobby but because I am very into entrepreneurship I actually could make it uh, my full-time business next to studying and I feel like it would be so much easier if I actually had a university that would stimulate entrepreneurship so if you're watching this right now and you're really thinking about applying to university to study law or maybe study something different it doesn't matter my biggest tip to you is to just do it and I know that sounds so cliche and so like well it's not just do it you know it's like such a big decision but on the other hand if you're going to keep doubting if you're able to do it you will never know if you're able to do it so yeah if you're now in the position of choosing to go to university or not if you're able to do it then just do it and if it doesn't turn out well that's okay, not everything in life goes perfectly and that's totally fine, that is life. So if you're interested in applying for the University of New South Wales, then I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find all the information about the application. So definitely check out their site because they have all the information written down about scholarships, for example, student guides, also important dates and events and deadlines, also options for undergraduates. It will take you to the early inquiry page where you can find all the information about application for University of New South Wales in Australia. Hey guys, so I'm now going to shoot and I'm quickly grabbing a new uh, battery for my camera. So uh, I changed my makeup a little bit. I only added red lipstick, but I feel like the whole look looks completely um, different right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, you guys, um, it's now half past 12 and 15 minutes ago, I actually just handed in my um, application for another scholarship I'm applying to. It kind of sucks because I actually should be studying, but I also have um, to prepare an interview. It's very cool though, it's an interview with Google. Uh, they asked me if I could be one of their speakers during an event for a kind of entrepreneurial students that want to do things with the online world and they want to place me like a case study and do a Q&A with me. So it's such an honor, but they also want to do like an interview with me. So um, yeah, I need to like give my answers to these questions. And tomorrow morning I have the interview uh, through the phone. It's like, it's an honor, but it would be perfect if it was a week later, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I always say that there are like no shortcuts or secrets to motivation and hard work. But there's one I lied. That's ice cream, <laughs> especially when it's hot. So I'm going to get myself some ice cream at the night shop, get back to do some studying and also do the interview thingy. So I guess this is real outfit goals, especially with this lovely bruise from dance class showing right underneath my shorts. Perfect accessory. Yeah. <laughs> It's always so nice to wake up to construction work. Good morning and welcome to vlog 34. Yeah, 34. Hours. 